So black people are very afraid of the police. That is a big part of our culture. No matter how rich you are, how old you are, we're just afraid of them. We got, we got every reason to be afraid of them. You know what I mean? Like, you're a white lady. You ever been pulled over before? You know, and what they say, let me see your driver's license and your registration, right? See? See, I'm just guessing. <laughs> That's not what they say to us. <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe what they say to us. Spread your cheeks and lift your sack. Like, what the fuck? Excuse me? You heard me. Spread open your cheeks and lift your sack. I got a driver's license, too. There's easier ways to prove who I am and shit. What does that prove? I can't go to the bank like that. Cash my check. What do you mean you don't have any ID? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chappelle. Right this way. Why didn't you spread your cheeks in the beginning? Scared of them. I'm serious, man. You ever be at a red light, the police might pull up next to you? It won't be no big deal for you, but you know what? Well, I'll fucking fall apart. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, don't look over there, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. But I didn't always know that was a black thing. It took me a while to figure that out. I, lear I learned that shit in New York. I was in New York City. Now, I was hanging out with a friend of mine. He's a white guy, you know. We were just hanging out. And, and we were lost in the city. You know, we were smoking a joint. Now, I don't know if it's a coincidence that we were lost and high and shit, but... <laughs> My white buddy, he was smoking a joint. <laughs> Dave, Dave, it's the goddamn cops. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him for directions. I said, Chip, no! Chip, don't do it! It was too late. He was walking over there, this man was high as shit. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Touching him and shit. Excuse me. I need some information. Uh, start confessing things you shouldn't confess. I'm a little high. <laughs> All I want to know, which way is Third Street? The cop was like, hey, take it easy. You're on Third Street. <laughs> you better be careful. Go ahead, move it. Move it. And that's all that happened. That's the end of the story. <laughs> now, I know that's not amazing to some of you, but yeah, as one of these black fellows, that shit is fucking incredible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, a black man would never dream of talking to the police high. That's a waste of weed. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> I mean, I'd be scared to talk to the police when I'm sleepy. They fuck around and get the wrong idea. <gasps> Oh my God. That nigga was on PCP, Johnson. I had to use necessary force. You saw him. No, no, no paperwork. Just, just sprinkle some crack on him. Let's get out of here. That's how it is. But at the time, I didn't think there was anything racial about it. I was just like, man, Chip, you got fucking lucky. You better be careful. But then another time, me and Chip are driving. Now I'm not driving. Chip is driving and he's driving a little crazy. He's been drinking. I don't like to let my friends drive drunk, but, you know, I was smoking a joint. I couldn't really say shit to the guy. Was... <laughs> and we get at a red light. We stop at a red light, and a car pulls up next to us, and I'll never forget it. Chippy looks at me, he's all drunk, and she's like, Dave, I'm going to race him. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea, but I was high. I tried to explain to him it was a bad idea, but all that came out was, well, nigga, sometimes you got race. I don't know. <laughs> Man, that light turned green and Chip took off. Zigzagging and shit so no one could pass him. I didn't even know he was racing. <laughs> then the police seen us and pulled us over. Now, you understand, I'm scared of shit. I mean, come on, the car smells like weed. I mean, speeding, this man is fucking drunk. I was scared. Chip was not scared at all. It was weird. He didn't even turn his radio down. Isn't that weird a little bit? I mean, if you get pulled over, wouldn't you turn your radio down? Nobody want to get their ass beat to a soundtrack and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Chip had the music blasting, we're not gonna take it. <laughs> what do you mean, Dave? Just relax. <gasps> Close your butt cheeks. Just relax. <laughs> Let me do the talking. You wanna know what he said? This is almost exactly what he said. I, I couldn't believe it. He says, oh, oh. Sorry, officer, I... I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I was fucking shocked. The cop said, well, now you know. Just get out of here. Just get the fuck out of here. Chip said, okay, I'll, I will, sir. Thank you. What? What's wrong with you, Dave? I didn't know I couldn't do that. He said, that was good, wasn't it? Because I did know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I was shocked. I wasn't shocked at the audacity, but I was just shocked because I would have never thought to say that. I don't think any black dude would think to say that because they know we know the law. Every black dude in this room is a qualified paralegal and shit. He knows the law. I mean, if one of us even start to do something wrong, an old black man would pop out of nowhere. Nigga, don't do that. That's five to ten. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <sighs> well, we know the laws and the penalties. Guy Chip didn't even know he couldn't race. I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. The house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Open and shut case, Johnson. I saw this once before when I was a rookie. <laughs> Apparently this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. <laughs> well, let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. <laughs> Oh, you know, that's that, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge now. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not going to say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it, he knew it was true. And then the Newsweek white people were like, oh, my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? Apparently, the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. It's in the May issue. I mean, really, how could you know, though? How could anyone else know? You know, I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. I don't, don't you think it was like a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Every dead black person the police find has crack sprinkled on them. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody would do that. Bam! Oh, oh. I don't want to leave no mysteries.